there is the Maritime Museum, and here are some big tour buses. These little benches are placed right outside the Hong Kong Harbor, where tourists and locals can come to enjoy a nice break while looking at the sea. Hong Kong is a city for first more practical furniture opposed to creative, so their tourists won't feel overwhelmed. As you can see, the government has tried to incorporate a lot of plants near the Victoria Harbor area. But instead of planting on the ground, they decided to have potted plants instead because they're prettier. As you can see behind me, there are lots of Hong Kong boats. Um, you can see over here there's a fishing area, and all of this demonstrates the culture of Hong Kong which tourists would find interesting and nice to see. The road bed and lamps put here are different to the ones outside the Star Ferry. This gives the idea to this promenade in Victoria Harbor. You can see outside the Air Air Carnival, there are a lot of trees to attract tourists. These plants up front look really nice. However, at the back, there's a lot of dead plants that might not be that appealing to tourists. This area is very good for visitors and tourists because it's separated from the loud, noise-polluted area of the city. As you can see, this blockade is blocking tourists from walking, the har walking along the harbor and enjoying it fully. Street furniture here is much different to any other street furniture. It's special to this park right outside of Victoria Harbor. This, in fact, gives an identity to this park, which, is, which appeals to tourists and even locals when they need a rest. Parks like these are very rare in downtown Hong Kong. There are many different types of trees and plants, which makes it really a really nice place to relax. Places like these are attractive to both young and old tourists and locals because they provide sitting out areas that means that they can relax. In the future, the government should install new furniture that creates an identity for Victoria Harbor. Not only would it make it more special, but it would also attract more tourists. They should also get rid of the old street furniture as it will make it stand out more. Despite this park being very peaceful and quiet, it's situated right next to a rather busy highway, which sort of ruins the entire mood, and it's quite loud, as you can tell. Behind me is the Cultural Plaza. This is a place where young tourists, old tourists, and locals can share their culture together, thus making it attractive to everyone. It's not like anything we've ever seen before in Hong Kong, which makes it unique and special. However, other than the green park over there, Hong Kong is quite polluted and there is construction and many cars next to me. It is not very attractive for tourists. Even though this is a pretty small space, the government has meticulously designed it to make it seem bigger as it is. They have created a maze for them to make the walking distance longer for locals who want to come. This is a very common plant in Hong Kong. As you can see, it is very well groomed and well maintained. This shows that greenery is definitely not neglected in Hong Kong. I believe that the government should add a larger variety of plants to the Cultural Plaza Park, as it will help make it more interesting, as well as add a pop of color to the area. I would also add more plants near the piers, as it is, according to my survey, what the tourists want. Furthermore, it can help distract people in Hong Kong from the busy, polluted streets and act as a source of fresh air as well, which is beneficial to our health. I believe that with these tips, Hong Kong would be a step closer in becoming a serious candidate for Asia's world city. Oh, as you can see here behind us, there's a lot of construction going on, which is very loud and disrupts the peacefulness of the park, thus having a negative impact on tourists. Here's another brilliant way the government has tried to make the life of locals more relaxing, but also tourists. They can come here anytime, buy some food at the, at the bakery, and look and stare at the beautiful Maybe in the future, the Hong Kong government can make a noiseless room on the park and also reduce the noise from construction. This would make it a lot quieter and peaceful. Here's a trash can that one might find walking around the streets in Hong Kong. And just a couple steps away from it, in a carefully manicured park by the government, is this other trash can which is modern and different. Areas like this are great for tourists. They provide a nice, serene atmosphere, and the greenery is also really attractive and makes the, 
the area very pretty. As you can see here, the street lamps are very different from the normal streets of Hong Kong, which okay. is very interesting. As you can see, even in the center of Hong Kong, the government still tries to incorporate greenery, which means that they know the importance of trees in this place. Like other chairs we've seen, the government has previously turned this chair into a piece of art. It seemed that the most popular activity for tourists was looking at the nice view, so in the future, Hong Kong needs to focus on reducing the pollution in Victoria Harbour. In addition, since the AIA Carnival and the Ferris Wheel are only temporary establishments, Hong Kong needs to provide something to do in the future for tourists when it's gone. Sammy! Like, what? It's much different and not, not like anything that's ever been before in Hong Kong.